welcome back to rd cloud compute in this video we'll cover how to install a high availability cluster in hpc microsoft hpc 2019 with microsoft service fabric so for this i have three uh, servers windows running windows 2019 windows server 2019 so they are named uh, uh, hpc 010203 all are attached to um, domain join to ad rdcc.local and each week, uh, machine have a uh, server has two inter network interfaces one is connected to the domain network which is enterprise network uh, uh, other, other, other interface is called uh, connected to a private uh, network or a private vlan so uh, let's log into one of the uh, server and start the installation so let me log into hpc03 okay have already downloaded the software and extracted it uh, into a folder in c drive okay let's run the setup okay new installation let's correct next license accept yep new node for a cluster Okay, I want to use Microsoft Service Fabric cluster this time. Okay, next. Okay, no issues. Test passed. Next, the cluster name. Let me give a HPC. MSF. Okay. Okay. Service cluster have the cluster so service. So we need to provide the node names with comma separated. Let's see HPC zero one comma HPC zero two comma HPC zero three. These are the three nodes. Make sure you have installed the prerequisites for the HPC pack head node on all other head nodes machines before install the installations. Okay, we haven't installed the prerequisites. Let's give a try. Let's see what it says. Okay. Let's go back to HPC 01 and install the prereq. Okay, let's open the software. I have the software and run the setup. Yes. Okay, next. Accept the license. Next. So and this will select the install the prerequisites for the new head node. Okay, next. No issues. HPC zero one comma HPC zero two comma HPC three. These are the three head nodes. Next, yes, I want to install in the default C drive for location certificate just browse I don't have any certificate so let's browse I already have a self-signed certificate created in the BFX formats let's use this okay import okay so you have to use the same certificate on all three nodes. If you don't have a certificate authority, you can create a self-signed certificate with the script and this using the script. It, this script is located in the setup folder of the HPC pack. See, Let's just run this. You can create the certificate. Next, yes, install. 
Okay, successfully installed. Let's finish. Close this. Let's go back to HPC 02. 02. Let's run the setup. See drive. Setup. New installation. Next. Accept. Next. I'm just install the prerequisites. Next, we have to type it HPC01, HPC02, HPC03. Default location. So I'm going to import the certificate here. Browse. I just I will just pick up the certificate from HPC01. Yep, the installation completed. Let's finish. Go back to the H HPC the H0 node with the initial installation. Yep, we are back in the installation screen. Now let's give a try now. Next, the head node list rural machines HPC0. see here's a problem HPC 03 next okay you don't have option to create database here it should be it says the database can be installed on a hit node cluster okay you can't install it on the local server so we'll have to use a remote server i already have a sql server running 2019 let's point it to that one okay i have a sql 2019 server running on sql 01 the instance name is hpc so the sql server uh, we, you need to create a databases uh, uh, before proceeding with installation to create the database you can uh, create using a powershell script in the setup folder located in the setup folder it is set it's called setup hp database so if you run it uh, run this script in the database uh, on the uh, database server it, it creates a database and assigns all the user necessary permissions to the database so i'm already done this one so i'm just going to complete continue this one so next yes scheduler database the same reporting the same diagnostics the same monitoring the same and i want to install on the software on the default c drive location next uh, the same the certificate i'm going to import the same certificate which i used on hpc 01 and 02 let's import that from hpc 01 yes that's certificate next so create all network shares on this computer or specify your network share uh, separately so in a real world in a production setup as a cluster you have to create a cluster file share on a the different uh, dedicated server or from a high availability file server cluster or some file storage um, so just just a lab setup so i'm just going to use the create share on the local server next yeah this is not recommended for availability i know that one but it's fine just a lab click ok i don't have the azure subscription so i'm just going to click next i'm fine just going to install this conference install 
yeah, the installation completed successfully and this is the connection string for the HPC cluster. Let's finish and launch the cluster. Let's go back and check the cluster manager. Okay, looks better this time. Let's configure network. So I'm going to use topology tool. As yes, that's my enterprise network, and that's my private. I don't want to use DHCP server on the head node. But the head node on the private network, okay, that's fine. Next. Don't change anything on the firewall. looks fine configure okay in network setup completed finish and provide installation credentials HPC admin and this is the password uh, Mr. C HPC admin, that's fine. It's completed. Naming for the nodes. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Yes. We have three nodes. All nodes okay, but offline. Let's start them all. Bring online. Warning change is being reverted due to update being disposed. Okay. Not sure what does that mean. Let's try one by one. Yes, all three nodes are online. Okay, configuration looks good. Okay, that's it for this video. I'll cover the remaining HPC topics in some future videos. Thank you. Thanks for watching.